a car that does not have, in fact, no background cannot claim the laurels of the best in the class. We used to think so too. But it turned out that it could. The Wolf Car, this is how this name is translated, made a dizzying career. Not in the sense that it was sold in millions of copies, not many can afford such a car, but in terms of reliability. In his childhood, Peekle did not suffer from either measles or scarlet fever. In a word, he was born almost healthy. This is the almost we will talk about today. We are far from thinking that the Amarok is the perfect pickup truck. No, there are trucks and SUVs more practical. But our pickup truck came close to the concept of an ideal universal car. Dear, who can argue? But where did you see cheap Germans? In a word, he collected the advantages of technology from completely different classes. In Russia, they initially offered a 2.0-liter turbo diesel with a capacity of 140 and 163 horsepower, and later 180 horses. The motor is reliable and, as it turned out, unpretentious, a diesel particulate filter was not even installed on it. If something happens, you will not disdain diesel fuel even from a clearly bad gas station. However, it is not worth letting such fuel go by itself detergents and fuel modifying additives will always come in handy. Of the problems with cars manufactured in 2010, one can single out the depressurization of fuel lines that run without proper fasteners directly above the engine. Diesel fuel often smelled from under the hood. However, by 2011, the problem had become obsolete. And another bad luck, the owners of the pickup unequivocally recognized the cracking and also leaking fuel filter. Replacing a penny part is inexpensive but you will have to spend a lot of time. So, in fact, it remains to carefully monitor the timing belt so that it does not accidentally break off on the go. Well-sealed or modified belt covers came later, and before that, off-road dirt flying under the hood could easily provoke a premature break. Often, but not always, a broken belt leads to a meeting of valves with pistons and, as a result, to a subsequent engine repair for 200 to 300,000 rubles so a preventive belt replacement is required at a stage of 70 to 80,000 kilometers, and not through the manufacturer's recommended interval of 150,000 kilometers. For those who often climb off-road, it is recommended to change the belt even more often, once every 60,000 kilometers. The drive can be of three types, rear, plug-in full for motion and permanent full for motion. The most effective for off-road, of course, remains the last option which is equipped with the rear differential lock. The all-wheel drive system did not cause any particular complaints. People drive off-road for a long time, operate the car in the north and are satisfied. The weak points in the transmission were rather the dual-mass flywheel, clutch, slave cylinder and release bearing. Up to 30% of Amaroks suffered from this, especially the same 2010 release. As for the gearbox, the Amarok is available with both manual and automatic transmissions. ZF boxes had isolated cases of fuzzy switching and severe frosts. But there is no chronic crime behind the transmission, again. More often, the power steering pump died after abundant mud baths. However, these losses are more typical for cars of the first years of production. It is also difficult to catch the suspension for some kind of weakness. She walks around the city without limit. Someone changes wheel bearings every 30,000 kilometers and others drive a factory pair up to 200,000 or whatever. Yes, fractures in the springs, there could be three or five, depending on the version, happen from overload. But this was not included in the system, and the issue is being resolved relatively inexpensively. But practically everyone springs creak, especially after a dusty grater. There is no solution to the problem other than washing. The current owners of the pickup truck have no body problems so far, Papa. If you do not include cases of leakage of door seals on the first machines. Here the optics are not hermetic, the lamps often burn out from moisture accumulated in the headlights. There are minor electrical problems in the cabin. For example, with failures of the right power windows. Rather, troubles in electronic computer brains are to blame here. Having traveled with an error for some time, many noticed that the problem went away by itself. Avoid lifted versions, the drive and CB joints fly three times faster than usual. In a word, you won't make many problems with the Amarok if the pickup truck hasn't been driven under a pallet of bricks off-road before every day. It is possible and necessary to buy a car, it has long become a rule of good tone and taste. The best option with the 180 horsepower diesel engine and automatic. With him, 
the car is much more confident rushing under load. But you can also consider less powerful specimens, they are driven on asphalt where it is decent. Transmission. Occasionally, especially at low temperatures, there are problems with gear shifting. On some machines, the gears turn off spontaneously, and then you have to change the box. Moreover, such problems arise regardless of the mileage. There is a destruction of the gear selection mechanism or its plastic housing. However, not all boxes are ugly in this way. Engine. Occasionally, a crack was diagnosed in the pipe that goes from the turbine to the intercooler. Insistent use of Euro 2 fuel will quickly finish off the fuel system. The fuel pump dies, clogging the entire system with small chips. Replacing fuel equipment will seriously hit the bank account. Isolated cases, the ingress of coolant into the cylinder, which entails the replacement of the cylinder head. Suspension. Without critical loads, you don't think about suspension repairs before the 100,000th milestone. Rear springs cost from 15,000 to 35,000 rubles. Many, by the way, are switching to tuning four-leaf more versatile springs. Front shock absorber, from 300 to 800 rubles. And the stabilizer rod will cost 2,000 rubles. However, with a ton of cargo off-road and at high speed, problems will arise very quickly. Body. On the forums you can find very different, radically opposite reviews about the quality of the paintwork. Basically everything is fine. However, there are those who believe that in Argentina, at the plant, they categorically do not comply with the painting technology. Until there is no primer. Often you can find complaints about water leaks into the cabin through door seals, as well as the loss of external decorative overlays when passing water obstacles. Electric. Volkswagen electrical equipment is traditionally complex. In addition to the periodic appearance of unknown errors, the forums talk about EGR sensor failures, frequently blown fuses for the windshield washer and windshield wiper, weak seat heating filaments, and, of course, power window failures. Especially on the right side, 